Hello everybody and welcome to another video. This time I'm gonna talk about a neat little trick when uh, playing around with responsive design in Material UI. If you are about to define some media queries and you are using some CSS in JS solution. Um, when we write out media queries, usually what we will do, the very standard way is to open up a CSS file and start typing away. So a media query might look like this. We have some condition on the max width of the screen. And then we have our CSS. So it could be body, turn the body to red. If we are around 100 pixels. So if we change the size of the window here, we can see it works. But say you are not working in CSS land, you're working in JS land. So what you can do is to import a hook that is shipped with the newest version of Material UI called Use Media Query. And we can import that one from Material UI Core, Material UI Core here. And all we need to do is just to define it to a variable. So we can say const uh, is active and we can call our use media query hook here and then just type in basically our media query here, uh, but not exactly. So let me show, give you guys an example how such a media query could look like. So if you just replicate the other one, let's just say max with 100 pixels, right? And here we need to make sure that we put the parentheses here, okay? And then we can make some condition in our JSX here, or we can render some stuff if this one is true. It could be a paragraph that says red, like that. So I save it and then reload. And then if I move this one, oh, oh, seems like it's working. See? So now we have kind of media crew working inside our JS file here. Very cool. So you guys might be thinking, how is this working under the hood? At least I was thinking like that. So I kind of went into the node modules folder here. And I went, I went around looking for material UI. And see, where is it? Here. And then just scroll all the way down to use media query. Oh, here it is. And then I was just having a little look inside here. So actually what I figured out was that it's using a method on the window object called match media. So if we go back here and we just type const test, and if you say window dot match media like this, and then just put in the exact same string here, we can actually replicate that functionality very easily, but not quite, let me tell you why. So let's just console log test here and see what happens. So right away, it seems like it console logged and it console logged the media query list and we have our matches property here that says whether it matches or not. And right now it's not matching. If we change it though, here, you can see this one turns to red and that did seem to force a re-render. So test was, um, it was printed once again and we can see matches is true. But if we actually delete this is active, let's remove it and then save it. You can see when I am changing the viewport here or the, resizing the window, we are not getting any re-renders because we just define a variable called test and we call window.matchmedia. What use media query does is it forces a re-render whenever this one changes. So you can render some specific component depending on the media query status, which is very cool. 
And implementing this functionality by yourself is actually quite easy. And I just want to finish off this video to show you how. So let's um, just delete. Let's just keep it actually and try to implement it. So if you want to implement it, we need to use a use effect. And we just want to pass an empty array here. So what we can do inside the use effect is we can define a, actually we just need to define this again right here, but we need to add an event listener to it. So let's just say testing, let's just call it testing this time and copy this, put it here. Now that looks very simple, right? But to make react re-render, we need to add a event listener onto this window.matchmedia. So if you do say testing and we add an event listener, we need to look for the change event and then we want to execute a handler. And just to do it right, we also want to make a quick cleanup method. So copy paste this one. And then instead of adding, we want to remove. And now define our handler. And we define the handler inside use effect. And for now, we just want to console log window changed, okay? Like that. So if we just comment out everything here that we made previously, let's delete that and save. And now we just resize the window and see if it works. Oh, we got to the 100 mark. So we got the window change property. Now let's change it back up. Oh, it changed again. So now it went to false. We can even print out the value here. So remember testing. So remember this match media object, right? We had to print out the matches property. It shows whether it matches or not. But if you save it and do another resize, you can see, oh, now it's true. Now it's false. All right, so now we basically implemented the use media query hook just using this uh, use effect here. Yeah. Okay, guys, that's all I wanted to show you. Just uh, uh, pretty much introduce you guys to use media query and how you may be able to implement it yourself and also just letting you guys know about this window match media uh, functionality. I did not know about this before recently. So yeah, always good to know about that stuff. Okay, if you guys like this video, leave a like and if you did not, don't and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.